Bhagavad Gita, text 2.14 O son of Kunti, happiness and distress are temporary experiences that arise from sense perception. Heat, cold, pleasure and pain come and go, and you must learn to tolerate them, O descendant of Bharata. Because the self is the witness of the many changes of the mind, such as happiness and distress, it must be different from them and changeless, for an entity subject to change cannot be a witness of that change. As the self is different from the gross body, so too is it different from the subtle body which consists of various fluctuating states of the mind. The experiences of happiness and distress differ from those of heat and cold, inasmuch as heat and cold can be either enjoyable or distressful, whereas happiness and distress remain the same. First, Krishna speaks regarding the macrocosmic and then the microcosmic level of experience. All of these experiences are relative to the mind's marriage to the senses and their perception of sense objects. That which is at one time hot may be cold at another. That which brings happiness may later be the cause of distress. These mental perceptions create a world in which the self lives without knowledge of itself, the world of the mind. The first step out of this small world is theoretical knowledge followed by the cultivation of stoic tolerance. Tolerance is a virtue that is required to matter how one lives. Yet its virtues are certainly greater when based on the bigger picture of life described in the sacred literature. The world of the mind is a small world. What is good for one may be experienced as bad for another. One person's happiness is another's sadness. Ultimate reality is bigger than the mind, and this is what the sacred literature informs us about. The beginning of realizing and living in this bigger picture, beyond the duality of sense perception, is tolerance. By addressing Arjuna in terms of both sides of his noble family heritage, Konteya and Bharata, Krishna strongly suggested that Arjuna should take the noble path of tolerance in relation to dualities, knowing them to be mere fluctuations of the mind. Krishna goes on to describe tolerance in greater detail.